Hello and uh, welcome to this short introduction on how to create uh, graphical user interfaces in uh, Python using uh, tkinter. So let's open our IDE and uh, we can create a new Python file. We can call it tkapp. Let me give you a little bit of history on, on why this is uh, called tkinter and why we need to import it. So in uh, 1988 a new tool command programming language was created called TCL. It was cross-platform, dynamic, open source and gained a lot of uh, popularity. However, it was missing um, graphical user interface. So in 1991 the community behind TCL created a new TK extension which enabled everyone to build graphical user interfaces natively in TCL. That's why you would often see it abbreviated as TCL slash TK. Now TK uh, was great, it provided all the basic widgets, you could create forms with uh, text boxes, buttons and labels and you could do it anywhere in Windows, Linux, Mac OS or other Unix flavors. When it comes to Python, Python wasn't so lucky, it didn't have the graphical user interface uh, integration at the time, so in 1999 Frederick Lund wrote TK Inter. I like, I like to call it TK Inter instead of Tkinter because it stands for TK plus interface. So he wrote this uh, Python binding interface to the TK uh, GUI toolkit and in 2000 uh, TK Inter became de facto a standard. GUI for Python and it's included uh, as part of Linux, Windows and Macintosh installation of Python. And that is essentially a reason why we can just type import TK Inter and it's immediately available without any pre-installs. So let's create our first form. We need to initialize the main window and we do that by typing window equals tkinter.tk You should size the window, let's say it's gonna be 400 by 400 pixels so type uh, windows minimum size 400 by 400 Now let's give our window a title so typing window.title you can put an application name here uh, The next step uh, we could do is uh, add an icon to our window so you can drag some icon to your project and initialize it in the code just by typing window.vm and loading the image. Uh, just put in the name of the file here. Actually, I have a typo here, so let's just refactor our file. Um, just change the name, change it in the code. And we should be able to open the window now. So let's just type in Windows main loop, which will show the window and run the code. As we can see, our application loaded, it has the Pac-Man icon, let's close it and we should be able to put some label in, so let's do this. Uh, we'll place hello world label, um, just type in label equals label, and add label to your window, uh, then put in the text and it doesn't have to say hello world, uh, we can put something else like click the button. Now we can place our label at the specific coordinates. So let's just do label dot. And we don't have to use pack here, we just say place, which will pack it on the screen. And, and we put it at the x, y coordinates at 10 by 10. If you run it, you can see that the label is there. How about uh, adding a button on the screen? So let's place a button on the window. We'll do the same thing. Button equals tkinter.button. We put it on our window and we can put a text on it. The text can say, click me. Now we need to place it at some coordinates as well. So let's just do label.place and we'll put it a little further below so x is still 10 but uh, y should be a little higher number 
you can run the program now and it's there, button is clickable ok, let's continue coding our program how about adding a counter to our button clicks this can be done by creating our counter and initializing it with a number uh, then we have to define a button press function so let's write our function we'll call it press we need to use uh, we need to globally set the counter variable so we say global counter here then count each button's press can be done by simply uh, adding another number to, to our counter and the next thing is to set the label so basically every with every click we'll change the text on the label and append a counter variable to it so whenever we click the button we'll see the number increase by one okay so now we need to add this press function into our button which is done by typing command equals press now let's run it we have our window we click the button and counter increases great now that this is done let's create a function which will center our window on the screen we'll need to define a new function called center on the screen and one of the first thing we should do in our function is to uh, carry out geometry management and refresh the, the window so we'll do the window update there the next thing to get is the width and height of the screen we can get this information from winfo just type in uh, winfo underscore width and we'll do the same thing for height just type in uh, height equals win dot win info underscore height now that we have these two pieces of information uh, we should be able to center our window on the screen and uh, run the code but before we do that we need to calculate the x and y coordinate of the placement of the window so we center it right in the middle I'm using the following uh, formula to calculate the x and y now if this seems complicated just get the source code from github uh, I posted the link at the beginning of the video so now we have to set the geometry and essentially just uh, center our window on our x and y coordinates calculated above now that the function is ready uh, let's rename it so it's a little more readable and we should be able to execute it and as we can see our window opens we can click the button we were successfully able to tie the function to a click and this concludes my short introduction into TK Inter and how to build graphical interfaces using Python thank you for watching